So what did you think of it though? Tell me about it. Well, I have a ZX6 and it's very different because mine's a little newer but it's not so wide in the middle underneath your underneath your stomach. Right. Um, it's very it's very wide, so turning is very different. Oh yeah. I would say for, it's almost difficult on this, for me at least. For it being an 04, it does have some get up and go. Granted it's a 12, but most older bikes, you know, 02, 03, 04, they're not into like the newer, like the newer fuel injection, the newer technologies, obviously. Right. It still, still moves for it being, for it being a little older. It feels, it feels very sturdy underneath you, which I like. Yeah, I like the way the frame looks. <laughs> yeah, like a weird ass Decepticon kind of looking thing. So what don't you like about it, you were saying? You said you don't like the brakes or something? It, the way it feels under braking, because obviously you don't want to brake into turns, you want to brake and accelerate out. Right. Um, it takes some getting used to compared to the bikes I've ridden where you have to break into the corner and then go out. Well, I want to accelerate until the very last second of the corner. Well, I can't find myself because of the way it turns. I'm not used to it having to break in the corner to make sure I keep my line. Right. Kind of. Because I would hit the gas and I would go wide because I wasn't leaning enough and it was hard to kind of gauge the... How hard you had to lean it, right? Yeah, it was hard to gauge that. Right. And it's not my bike, so I wasn't trying to go crazy hard on no, it. No, sure. Me me too, though. Like, when I first got in, I had the same problem. Didn't know how hard to lean it. It definitely was harder than you had to lean that 600 I just came off of. That's why I like my 600, my ZX6, compared to, like, a 12 or, like, the 14s, the big ones. Oh, yeah. Um, they want to go straight. Throw, I can throw my 6 down to the ground and pick it right back up without any issue, and I just like the way it feels under me. Right. And I don't care about going 180 compared to only 160. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, if you're not out there racing, people, it really don't matter, you know? It's really just for the races. Well, there you have it. It's got some decent power, but nothing special, according to this man. Nothing like uh, a bad boy over there, apparently. Yeah, I would agree, though. I mean, it's... Compared to the Busa, it's really hard to turn. That Busa would get in those turns and, you know, you could lay it down pretty damn easily. But this thing, like, get first time I got to that Cloverleaf, I was like, hey, uh, you can come with me or? But the first time I drove it, the tires were underinflated. So maybe there's a hole in the tires or a small leak and that's what happened. Or maybe they're getting back down there. I don't know. I have not checked them, so I will definitely... You know, I kind of touch them, make sure they're rock hard, but as far as, like, spec, I don't really do much, but... Mm. I have to get check it otherwise, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's good for straight lines, and... You know, that was my problem. You know, I got off that cruiser, and I didn't... Didn't want to go slow anymore, and then I got that 600, and didn't want to go slow anymore, and got on this and I was like dang you lose a lot of maneuverability when you move up to that bigger bike I should have got a leader bike to this day I've still not owned a leader bike not once had the Busa had the 12 everything pretty much but the leader bike but yeah it's nice it's still decent looking but yeah if you like that video go ahead and hit that like button I always use some more subscribers so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later see ya